Okay, here we have a scale factor question, and uh, we're going to have to work out that scale factor to start with. Um, so they told us the first one is 24, vars A is 24 centimetres, and the larger one is 36 centimetres. So if I do 36 divided by 24, I should find uh, that, that linear scale factor, that's the line scale factor. Uh, so it's the, the second pot is one and a half times as tall as the the first one. But of course they want us to compare the area and for that you have to use the area scale factor. Now the area scale factor is the square of centimetres squared of course of the line scale factor. So just like centimetres goes to centimetres squared so the line scale factor gets squared. And 960 times by 1.5 squared should give me the area of vars B. So you just do that on your calculator and hopefully check the right answer. It's going to be over 2,000, isn't it? Uh, what's that going to be? 2,160 centimetres squared. Okay, so let's scroll down and have a quick look at um, part, uh, part B. It says find in terms of V an expression for the volume of vars A. So volume, the volume of B is only much bigger than um, a isn't it? And so I'm not really multiplying by a scale factor, but by dividing by it. And of course I have to use the volume scale factor. Now, if the area scale factor is squared, when I want centimeters cubed, I'm going to have to cube my scale factor. I'm dividing by it, so I try to make my vast smaller. So the volume of B divided by um, 1.5 cubed equals the volume of the A vars. Uh, I can do a little bit better than that because if I divide by 1.5 cubed, do it on your calculator, you'll see that's the same as multiplying by 8 27ths. Um, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it step by step. So if you do on your calculator 1.5 cubed, you're going to get 27 over 8. And of course, if I divide a number by that fraction, you have to multiply it, don't you, by the reciprocal fraction. So it's going to be 8 27ths of V. And that's my final answer. So, um, do have a look at, uh, at this. Do pause now, have a, a quick read. And then, of course, we're going to look at the um, answer, and we've got the right answer.